Manchester United winger Daniel James says talking about the death of his father helped him to get through it and is urging other men to do the same. It's a message backed by other high-profile figures, including Prince Harry and England manager Gareth Southgate, who advocate sport as a way of tackling mental health issues. BBC Sports presenter Richard Ascombe went along with Daniel during a visit to a football club in Wigan, which brings men together to share their problems. It's not easy to speak. People have gone through the same thing. Daniel yeah. James talking honestly and openly at Place to Place FC in Wigan, a football club aimed at helping men with mental health problems. It's a friendly bunch of guys playing in a safe environment. Peter Hill set up the club four years ago after his best man and best friend took his own life, aged just 30. The club has since grown to a dozen teams, with about 100 men playing each week. And it caught the attention of the Manchester United star. Dan James saw a BBC film about Peter and the club and was so inspired and touched, he liked and shared it on social media and wanted to get involved. <laughs> the Welsh international has had to face mental challenges of his own. It was the last conversation I seen with him. It was that we're going to sign for United. Daniel lost his father just before his dream move to Manchester United last June. Not being able to share it with his dad hit him hard. It didn't really hit me until about three months and I think being at United and, and that he knew that I was going to United was obviously a massive thing for me and I think from then on I just wanted to, to make him proud and, and do you know what I mean, play for an amazing club, someone I've always wished to play for and, and for him to look down at me and say, do you know I mean, I'm proud of you and I, and I think that's... That's helped me so much, just always stay positive. Sometimes there's obviously times where, where you can't. When something like that happens, it's, it's, it's always best to speak out. And I think when I have and I spoke to people in similar situations, it's helped me so much. It's quite humbling, isn't it, when you hear some of the stories? I think, I think it's amazing that, um, what Peter's done here. I think obviously they've got the football aspect, but in, the in, in intervals and stuff like that, they speak to each other and, and they, they share different stories, which is, is fantastic. Can you hold it there, like that? Yeah. Dan spent about three hours chatting to everyone and hearing their stories. Some were tough to listen to. How are you getting on? Callum Evans was badly injured in a motorcycle accident four years ago. He nearly died and has found it very hard psychologically to put it behind him. Some days I thought, what's the point, you know? Um, but I'm here, that's all that matters. It definitely is and I noticed you were chatting to Dan James for, yeah. for some time. What, what was it like to meet to meet him and what did he say to you? Oh, it was surreal. Um, he was, I think he was quite touched by, by the story. He said, you know, I've done, I've done well to come this far and playing football and stuff like that. And he just said, just keep going, do what I'm doing now. Getting the message out there to, to speak out is, is huge. And I think you, you can be the brightest person in the room, but people never know what's going on, really going on inside. And, the hardest thing, obviously, is, is to speak out, and uh, I think Peter and me, myself, is, is, is trying to encourage people to, to be able to speak out and speak to others and don't be afraid to do that. Richard Ascombe, BBC News. Some really powerful testimonies it's there, wonderful. It? It's, it's wonderful. And um, Peter Hill, who set up that club a few years ago after his best friend took his own life, is here. Peter, good work. Wow. Morning. Um, just hearing, you know, from so many of the young men there, Callum, for example, you you changing people's lives doing this. Where did, where was the inspiration from? Uh, well, unfortunately, it was it was a, a negative that we tried to turn into a positive a few years ago, where yeah. I lost my best friend to, to suicide, and it started a bit of a, a stem of suicides in in that family as well, kind of three in three years. So at that time, a lot of people kept saying to us the same kind of things: that there's nothing you could have done, there's nothing you can do about these things, and it just didn't kind of sit with me. But that was the answer, really. So um, it started with a memorial cycle that developed into into what we have now, a football club. Um, and just tell us a bit, because it seems you know an amazing place to go to. It's about the football, but it's also about chatting as well. Yeah, the the, fo the football is something we say is, is the the least important thing, really. Although that's the thing we obviously come together and play. And uh, playing the football is the feel good endorphins release kind of thing that that, that people get from it. Um, chatting in, in between as the substitutes or, or going back the guys get uh, the local pizza shop gives us free pizza so the guys after the game have a bit of pizza a slice a drink and a chat about the week sometimes that's nothing particular mm -hmm. but other times that when people have, have lost folk around them for the parents or whatever it can be really crucial like you know, 
It seems like having a, an amazing impact. How's it gone down with other teams that you play? Because you, 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 know, you know what sport any level is like. If people perceive a weakness, then they tend to, you know, they tend to go at that, don't they? I mean, it's straight. We, uh, generally, we're playing each each other uh, each week, um, and there's a couple of friendlies that we organise outside of that. Uh, but it's quite surprising really that people actually want to get involved. Uh, they're kind of almost queuing up to, to play us really uh, and people are kind of giving us the message that we've been waiting for, 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 for somebody to do something like this. So, and to get you know. um, a visit from uh, Daniel James from Manchester United, you could see uh, the reaction it had from yourself and, and everyone else who was down there. How much of a, of a positive has that had, a, a sort of lasting effect I would imagine as well? It, it's massive. The, the platform that these guys have is, is huge and, and to see someone like Daniel, it's a first team Man United player, even recognising what what we do kind of thing is, is, is crazy. Um, but he, but he, he not only just came and showed his face, but he took a real interest in all the guys, and some of the guys are really big Man United fans, and, and just this morning they're, they're talking about it kind of thing. It's five o'clock in the morning, we're getting ready to come here, and, and they're still talking about it now, like, you know. Like, um, uh, does the way somebody's feeling affect the way that they play? Some, sometimes, it, we, we say that, uh, we ask people to, to bear in mind that if they see poor behaviour, for example, uh, or somebody reacting a little bit different, that might be a big indicator that they're, they're struggling with something in particular. Um, so we just we just ask everybody to, to to really kind of just bear that in mind when they come down. Yeah. Just, just um, you may be playing alongside somebody who's going through a really tough time, who might have not made it dead clear and doesn't mm. want to make it dead clear. Um, but you can probably see that from the way that they're playing. You, you meet these people week in week out, and you get to learn how they play their game and. Um, the idea is you can just maybe look after them four or five people in your team a little bit more than maybe we'll all be a, a little bit better. And it's yeah. worth pointing out as well that that was a lot more than the photo shoot because sometimes those things, you get a big star to come down, they're there for five or ten minutes, have the pictures, do a quick film and, and then leave it. But Daniel yeah. hung around for a good number of hours and spoke to virtually everybody that was there. Yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to try and bring him back into the warm. It was a cold night in Wigan, like, you know, and uh, the wind was blowing, uh, but he was having none of it at all. He was like, no, I want to meet, I want to meet everybody I want to. I want to find out people's stories and we've got a range of, of, of reasons why people play. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to find out the, the different things. Yeah. Um, I'm interested in what you say. Um, you say, you know, if you notice that somebody's, you think, having issues, you, you, you kind of group together and, and look after them. How do you do that? It's really just kind of making sure that they know that you t you've got a teammate in your corner because people sometimes going through tough times. When I lost my friends, yeah. I, I could have done with... I, I felt isolated for the first time in my life, I'd say, and I could have done with a teammate or a, a group of mates just to, to fall back on. I didn't realise how much I depended on my friend until, it, until he'd gone, like, you know? Yeah. Um, so we just asked people to not do anything special, just just have just a little... Just be heart, there, is that what it is? Just be there, yeah. Uh, and it's amazing how much change that, that can make. And a lot of you guys are obviously uh, joined by your, your love of football. What would you say to somebody who's watching this this morning who might be having the same sort of struggles, but... Um, maybe doesn't have a sport or something like that they can get involved in, what would be your advice to them this morning? Um, I think the message from us is always uh, re regarding facing tough times, it's got to be just trying to reach out to somebody, any, anybody, a friend, a family member, uh, a charity or, a, or an organisation. Um, but maybe look at some different ways to, to get yourself back active, maybe or to, to train uh, another hobby or something like that. If you, if you get in touch with us, we'll. We'll kind of tell you about our sessions. We have various different sessions. We have some people who get in touch with us who, who, because of the size we've got to now, feel a bit daunted about coming down. So we had one guy, for example, we organised a stadium tour for. He was a, a long time Wigan Athletic fan. Um, so he's not come down in the end to the football club, but just by making a connection and seeing an original Northwest Tonight story, he's got in touch with us, and we've been able to provide him a bit of a, a bit of a memory with his family that's open, hopefully, brightened his week a little bit. Like you know. You're clearly making a difference. Fingers crossed. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, thank Peter you. Hill, thank you very much for coming thank to you. talk to oh, us. Lovely to meet you. Thank you so much for coming on this morning. Uh